Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We'll continue with our SQL Accounting System training. In today's lesson, we'll talk about Purchase Order. In SQL, we just need to go to Purchase, then we can do the Purchase Order. Normally, this will be the first document or first transaction in Purchase Cycle, not the Purchase Request, as normally uh, in Malaysia, many people will not use Purchase Request. Sometimes not even purchase order. Maybe you will directly call to your supplier and make a purchase instead of sending them the official purchase order. Well, when you go to purchase order, the first thing as you can see again is a listing of all your purchasing order, purchase order. And you can search according to purchase order number if you remember the number. If not, then maybe the company name. Or you can do field chooser, that means right click any column title. Field chooser, drag out anything that you want to use as a searching criteria. Okay. Or not, just click on the new button. Okay. So again, just select the supplier. Now you can see the company name is in bold, meaning the focus is at company name. If you tell me, Brian, when I type my supplier, nothing come out, it's because your focus now is not the company name, but another tab now is company name too so what you need to do is clear all the, uh, the uh, word that you key then click on the tab key on your keyboard it will jump to another column go to code tab again it will go to company name and you can click on the a at the bottom so that when you type the name may not be in full let's say communications so you're still able to search okay apply the same things to item code normally i will use the name or description of the item instead of the code because i can't remember the code so over here you can see the purchase order number will run automatically the next number will be po 22 the date will be using the system date all these terms agent will follow the maxis communications maintain supplier so you can change the quantity change the item price the system will have the auto the text code you can change the text code as well or you can do field chooser again right click column title field chooser drag out maybe more description sorry it's more description okay key in the more description click on the cross sign yes or Select another item, the blue pen. Okay, you can see the previous more descriptions from the maintain item will also appear. You can edit accordingly. Cross save. Okay, can move this blue pen up by using the arrow up button. You can pull out the discount. Do field chooser, drag out the discount. Put in percentage is percent. Put in amount is amount. And system support unlimited level of discount. Can put in attachment as well if you want to. Or just simply save it. So preview. This is the preview button. Then select one of the templates. Okay and convert to PDF by using this button or directly print out export to PDF put at desktop let's say this maxis PO save it okay so from your desktop you are able to see that there is a maxis PO which you can directly email to your supplier well this is how you create your PO. This applies to any transactions in SQL. Once you know how to do one transaction, the rest is the same. Okay? Do drop by at my Facebook. It's facebook.com slash syntax technologies. Help to like my page. And you can find all the latest information regarding GST, regarding SQL over here. And if you want to watch previous tutorial video, just go to my YouTube. Um, it's at syntech.com.my slash YouTube and you can view all the 
others tutorial accordingly. And once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.